Hi there, David here once more, coming to you on behalf of Being Crypto. Today we're going to talk about what is arguably the most popular browser-based cryptocurrency wallet, and that's MetaMask. We've mentioned MetaMask many times on this channel before when discussing decentralized applications and the DeFi ecosystem, but today we're going to tell you everything you need to know to get started. We'll explain what MetaMask really is, talk about how to set it up, and we'll cover all of its features, some use cases, and even explain how to connect to networks besides Ethereum. So if you're interested in getting involved with dApps, DEXs, or a variety of other services, then follow us right now as we explain all the ins and outs of MetaMask. Okay, so the first thing you really need to know about MetaMask is that it's a web browser-based cryptocurrency wallet, or browser wallet. Browser wallets live as extensions to your browser, and the main reason to use them is to interact with decentralized applications, aka dApps. Essentially, these types of wallets act as the doorway to most of the DeFi ecosystem. There are others besides MetaMask, such as Trust Wallet and Coinbase Wallet, but today we'll be focusing on MetaMask. MetaMask is supported by Chrome, Brave, Firefox, and Edge browsers, and even has iOS and Android app versions, so pretty much literally anyone can use it. Also bear in mind that MetaMask effectively acts as a hot wallet on your computer, which is basically unavoidable for it to interact with dApps. Sure, it is password protected, and if your system is clean and you use good operational security, you should be fine. We would just recommend against using this wallet for storing large sums of assets, which would probably be better kept in cold storage and only move to a hot wallet as needed. Okay, now that we've covered that overview, let's get into how you can actually download and set up MetaMask for yourself. Let's begin by heading over to metamask.io, which we'll also link in the description just to avoid any confusion or risk of scams. Click on download in the top right, and you'll be taken to a screen that should automatically detect your browser and prompt you to download. Click the button, and you'll be taken to your browser's web store for the MetaMask extension. Click Add to Browser, and after another confirmation, it should automatically download and install itself. At this point, you should be ready to go. In most browsers, this will add the iconic Fox logo into the top right corner of your browser, which you can click on to interact with the extension. If this is your first time, you'll be prompted to either import an existing wallet or create a new one. If you have a wallet already, great, but then you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So let's assume you're making a new one. The first thing you'll be asked to do is create a password. Most of you probably already know this, but choose a strong password with upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and maybe even symbols. Point is, make it almost impossible to guess or brute force. Next, you will be given a secret backup phrase. This is a long string of words that can be used to import your wallet into another instance of MetaMask. It's more powerful than your password because that only gives access to the instance you set it up with, but this phrase is more akin to the master key for the wallet. The point is, you don't want to lose it, and you don't want anyone else to have access to it. So write it down and store it in a lockbox, encrypt it in a file offline, do whatever makes sense to you to ensure it's safe and accessible, but only by you. Once you've confirmed that you've secured your backup phrase, you should be all set to begin using MetaMask. Okay, now let's take a look at how MetaMask works and what you can do with it. For one, you can send or receive cryptocurrency. To receive coins, simply send them to the appropriate address for this wallet. You can copy your wallet's address into your clipboard by simply clicking on it at the top of the wallet window, making it easy to enter into other platforms. You can of course also send assets to another wallet by clicking on the send button and pasting in the desired wallet address. The buy option lets you directly purchase Ether using a debit card or bank transfer, and can be a convenient way to originally fund your wallet. Of course, you can always just purchase Ethereum or any other ERC20 asset on another exchange and send it to this wallet as well. Once you do have funds, you can also utilize the swap option, Swap acts as a basic exchange and lets you quickly transfer value between supported tokens. This can be incredibly convenient and limits the user's need for multiple platforms. Looking down below now in the Assets tab, you can easily see your portfolio, and clicking on any specific token will give you a complete transaction history. Similarly, clicking on the Activity tab will display the full list of all transactions across all assets. Next to your account name and address, you'll see some options to expand the window to full screen, look at your account details, view this address on Etherscan, or we'll review what websites you've connected this wallet to. Above that, you should see a colorful icon. This icon is unique to you as it is generated from the wallet's address. It makes for a quick visual check that you're using the correct wallet, as every icon is different, and it should be pretty obvious if something is amiss just from a glance. Clicking on this icon brings up a few more options. At the top, you have the choice of locking your account at any time. Below that, you can see that you can also create a new account or import one, as well as connect a hardware wallet if you have one. Further down, there is a button to contact MetaMask support, and finally, a settings option. Under settings, you have a variety of things you can adjust. In the general tab, you can set things like the currency denomination and language. Advanced has settings that most users will never need, though some may come here if they want to sync their desktop wallet with their mobile version. Next, there's the contacts menu, which is pretty self-explanatory, basically managing other addresses you interact with. Under security and privacy, 
Users can find their secret backup phrase, as well as a few options pertaining to their metadata. Alerts gives you the option to be notified when a website is linked to one of your accounts, or if the API interface is broken. Networks lets you manage what blockchains you're connected to. Note you can also quickly switch networks by clicking on the drop-down menu at the top of the window. Lastly, the About tab contains various helpful links for information and contacting the team behind MetaMask. Okay, you've installed MetaMask, learned your way around, and even funded it. Now how do you actually use it to interact with dApps? Well, just navigate your browser to whatever service you want to use, for example Uniswap. There should be a button that says something along the lines of Connect a Wallet. Clicking on that will prompt you to log into your MetaMask account and confirm that you want to link this wallet with this service. As we always warn, be a bit careful about what services you connect to. Do your research and make sure a platform is reputable, and also double check that you're connecting to the legitimate site and not a lookalike. Assuming everything is on the up and up, it should be just that easy to connect. And once you do, the service should be able to see your balance and access your funds. For any specific activity like a transaction, the wallet will prompt you to confirm before going through. But now you should be all set to use decentralized exchanges, play blockchain-powered video games, buy and sell NFTs, and anything else offered by the DeFi ecosystem. One last thing we wanted to mention before we wrap this up, and that's the fact that you can actually use MetaMask with more than just the Ethereum network. The application also works with blockchains that are compatible with Ethereum, most notably the Polygon network and the Binance Smart Chain. In order to get connected, just go to the Network tab we mentioned earlier under Settings and click on Add Network. You'll need to get the appropriate RPC URL for the chain you want to connect to, and these should be available from the official sources. Additionally, we'll link to both the Binance Smart Chain and Polygon information in the description below. Once you've filled out the necessary parameters, just click Save and you should be all set. Remember, you can use the drop-down tab at the top to quickly switch networks, and always double-check that you're on the chain you think you are before doing any transactions. By the way, as mentioned, you'll need to get some Ethereum to fund your MetaMask wallet in the first place, so why not consider getting it over at the StormGain cryptocurrency exchange? StormGain is not only one of the hottest up-and-coming exchanges out there, it also offers several valuable perks such as a loyalty program, bonuses for referrals, annual interest on crypto deposits, and using the official app you can even begin cloud mining cryptocurrency for free today. If you're looking to purchase Bitcoin, Ethereum, stablecoins, or an array of other cryptocurrencies, then just know that StormGain offers a bit more than most other exchanges, so be sure to check them out. Okay, that's basically it. You should now be ready to use MetaMask with virtually any and all decentralized applications out there. If you're curious about some of the services available for you to use, maybe check out our other videos on decentralized exchanges or blockchain-powered virtual worlds to give you some ideas. In any event, we all know there's changes happening all the time in the world of cryptocurrency, and you're going to want to keep up. So why not check us out at beincrypto.com, where you'll find daily updates, analysis, and more. Also, don't forget about our other content right here on YouTube, such as interviews, educational videos, and our bi-weekly news show. And lastly, if trading is your thing, then come join our trading community on Telegram, where you'll get access to the latest technical analysis from our top traders. As we always say, thanks to all of you for watching, and we'll see you right here again real soon.